Hello and welcome to this playthrough of uh, The Council Episode 1. I am Zifferoni and uh, you're watching this new game. This is, like I said, the first episode of uh, 5, I believe. And uh, it has a really interesting uh, setting, I have to say. You are playing the main character in a story uh, you, I think it's uh, 17, late 18th century, and you have been invited to an island outside of uh, the coast of England, and uh, there are some other guests on this island as well, uh, counting among others uh, George Washington and uh, who else was it in the text I read? Um, Napoleon Bonaparte, I think. Uh, and we will see everybody have their own agendas and uh, this is a story where you will make definitive decisions and uh, you, you there is no going back so whatever you decide that stays and also your your character development it remains you cannot go back in any way uh, shall we begin sit back and relax not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Hmm. 
Trust her. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Done, Louis. You yeah, reacted well perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Okay, so we're definitely members of this uh, Golden Order thing that they were talking about. Uh, von Borchardt, he, that's a German sounding name. Um, use a golden elixir. done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Uh, business with Lord Mortimer. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Um, turn the question back at the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. 
Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. <clears throat> We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Wait Duchess. Wait a minute. Did we Cardinal, keep them up on a Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? What's happening? Uh... Wow, we're getting the shakes. Mother? Flashbacks. Oh shit, your hand! Oh! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, no, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Yeah, that was your no, mistake. Sir. Don't! No! No! <gasps> Ooh. You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. Die. <gasps> you. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Okay, so I that... definitely have to find mother quickly. Yeah. Was Am that I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. So are we having some kind of premonition or uh, what's going on? Can we we can only walk. No, we can run. If we hold down R2, we can run as well. Okay. No items as of yet. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I was just thinking that we probably came together and so traveling in that time took a lot longer than it would today. Uh, we would probably get to know the people on the ship. Somewhat, at least. Which would explain why we're on first name basis. Uh, okay, so what have we been up to? Let's see. Diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. He avoids false paths. For path? I don't know. And he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of uh, predilection. We would get uh, politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction and diversion. Occultist. The occultist is a master of deception, convinced of importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. We would get manipulation, occultism, erudition, sciences, subterfuge, detective. Okay. Um, 
The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. He would get uh, questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility and logic. Okay, um... I kind of feel that Diplomat would be um, fun to play. Uh, but Detective is also tempting. Occultist, maybe not so much. At least not for now. Maybe we can play it again at another time. Uh, so I'll, I'll go with, hmm, Detective, I think. Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one skill point in manipulation. Your past granted you one skill point in psychology. Alright, so we have science, we have conviction, we have logic. Vigilance, questioning. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Four points left before level two. Reduce cost in effort points by three. Okay. Read people's behaviors like an open book. We have psychology already. Three points left before level two. Okay. And we have manipulation. Where is manipulation then? Logic, agility, oh down here, manipulation. Yeah, get people to act in your own interest, okay. Uh, logic, use your logical mind and rhetorical talents. Um, agility, use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Okay. So this costs us... Wait, questioning. One, we have... Ooh, can we get this? Yeah, and we have... Use your logical mind and oratorical talents. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Um, let's get agility as well. Okay. Validate. Well, over the last few years I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the Chauffeur d'Orgère, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. Mm, I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Um, not at all. Not at all, sorry. Um, not at all, so lie to her. Um, lie to her? Yeah, alright, lie. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me. What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Oh. Scheiße. <laughs> uh, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Browse your skills by using the character tab in the menu. Okay. Hold to validate. 
Uh, we have map, journal, inventory. What do we have here? Okay. Dear Monsieur de Richer, I'm writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Richer, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to over-worry you but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Okay, and this Emily's handkerchief. A handkerchief given to you by Lady Hillsborough. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials, E. H. Okay, and this? The Art of Knowing People by Their Physiognomy. Jo Johan Kasper Lavater. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's in 1775 anyway. A method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical appearance, notably their facial characteristics. One skill point in psychology. Okay, uh, traits, charismatics. Uh, okay, you gain. Okay, charismatic presence. You gain one skill point in manipulation. You have always been charismatic. Okay, nice. Green eyes, huh? Trusting. You gain one skill point in psychology. You trusted your mother. Oh yeah. So we chose to trust our mother. And that's why we have this. That's cool. That's cool. Detective. Detective class skills cost less to acquire. You have chosen the detective class. Yeah, we did. Talents. Oh, okay. So this is a, a map of all our talents. And I guess the bars down below will, will climb as we go along. Or will we have to buy things? Um... All right. Pier. Wait, wait. Oh, we have uh, different levels. Pretend to be hurt for her not believing you. Chat her up. Difficulty one. Uh, okay, both of these are locked. So um, let's do the most probable place would be Paris. Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. <laughs> well, that didn't work. <laughs> right, time to go to the manor. Nice. <laughs> Opportunities. Your, skill allow, your skills allows you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have unlocked it. Okay. So what's this? Validate. If I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Hmm. Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Okay, so um, let's see. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Okay. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. 
but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the detailed tab in the menu. Okay. So let's check um, in the journal. Emily Hillsborough. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet. She has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister William Pitt to take as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. Oh. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes's invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed receptions. So, all right. Um, I don't know, do we need to write our own notes or can we just keep everything in the journal? Um, So that's that's Emily Louis that's me or us Piaggi Giuseppe well I don't know how to pronounce it it's Italian no doubt His Eminence the Cardinal Giuseppe Piaggi is a legate of Pope Pius VI a distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science, an amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope who discreetly named him Cardinal in pectore. I don't know, in pectore, but okay. <laughs> if anybody knows, be sure to write it in the box down below. He was thus able to use his relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Gregory Holmes, Piaggi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interest of the Holy See. What about our mother? Sarah Faustine de Richet is a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society, politics, trade, transactions, secrets of state, and paranormal spheres. The Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the order was the development of its branches in America, Europe and Central Africa, not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Okay. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, to become the new face of the Golden Order. Okay, so that's us. Right. Let's move on. Uh, what's over here? Map? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Uh, where is Lord Mortimer? What do you know about my mother? Where is Lord Mortimer? 
I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. That's sir Mortimer. Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Have you found anything there? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type Ooh. of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. Okay, so, journal. Let's see. Servant. Vulnerability. Questioning. To be discovered. Okay. Um, so... But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, yeah. our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know Wait. my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Hmm. Okay, let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Conviction locked. Logic is probably. Uh, wait. Let's try. Uh, let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but invited by your master. No, of course. But because oh. my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. That's I cool. must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. It is uh... indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay, um, let's have a look around before we move on ahead. Uh, let's have a look at that handkerchief first, though. Uh, it should be this one. Mother's handkerchief that was given to me by the servant on the pier. It carries her initials. Okay, so nothing more. We can't... Uh, wait. Nope, nope. Okay, so uh, there are no functions to kind of uh, look at it further. Um, oh, this is gated off. So yeah, I really like the 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 whole personality tree thing. But Open the gate, step back. Uh, open the gate. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Alright, so we need... Oh, pick the lock, can we? I don't know, is it... Is this... Um, there are a few barrels there. Yeah, fudge it. Let's do it. the lock. Oh, it's locked. Oh, okay. 
subterfuge lot. We need to improve our subterfuge. So I'm step back. What's this then? A board. A wooden floorboard. Uh, examine. <laughs> Question? Examine. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Who are we supposed to question? Let's do it anyway, let's see. What Judging happens. by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. It was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Okay. All right, so we're done. Oh, we have another thing here. What's this? Ah! There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Um. Okay. Examine first. Somebody I replaced think. it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Okay. Rip it up. There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. Bingo. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Uh, find your manuscripts by using the in inventory tab in the menu. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. Yeah, what else? A little is in food, that? Key? a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Salmon the rusty key. An iron key completely rusted. Take the key. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Examine the powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Is that tea? Examine the personal belongings. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. What does all this mean? Examine the food. Fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. <laughs> the fruit's still firm. And the bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. All right, so this this bag was definitely put there by our mother. Uh, why would she put food in the bag unless she's intending to come back and, and fetch it later? Um, I guess... Well, the powder is curious, unless that's tea or something. I think... Nah, take right. the bag. Just I'll in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Yeah. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. What's this thing? 
Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five, okay? So when do we uh, regain effort points? Is it when we succeed? Only when we succeed with uh, an action? Because actually breaking up that board, the floorboard there on the pier, was a success. Was it not? So we should actually have regained some points. What's this then? A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Mm. What's here then? Royal jelly. Okay, another one of those. Wait, did we pick up the seeds? No, we didn't. It's okay. I, I want to try that key uh, with the gate over there, but first I want to check and see what's down here this way. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. Okay. Nothing important then. Oh, lantern. A lantern. Nothing special. Nothing special. Well, what was it, the, the guy in L.A. L.A. Noir kept saying? Um, coin? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, here, down here. Collector coins. Lost coins in Lord Mortimer's manor. Okay, so it's just collectible. Mailbox. Let's see what's hidden inside. We shouldn't go through other people's mail. Um, logic, okay. Examine the letters one at a time. Let's, Let's do that first. That's not illegal. To Mr. Carl Corey. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. To Mr. R. Uh, Galbraith. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Envelope has ideograms on it, okay. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Okay, he doesn't know the language. We don't know the language, okay? I haven't the slightest idea what it says. Wait, were there options for uh, Carl Corey? It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Yeah, okay. Uh, the envelope has ideograms on it. Hmm, a letter written in an oriental language. Oh, okay, so, oh, I thought it was... Uh, I have the slightest idea what it says. I thought it was extra options, like you can uh, look into details on the envelope. Uh, to Mr. Josia da Silva Xavier. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Uh, examine the other letters. Probably a Dutchman. Okay, Dutchman's letter. Mr. Samuel Reiter. Mr. Choi. Ooh, look at the sender's address. So it's locked, 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 nothing special. Nope. It doesn't ring a bell. His eminence. 
This is not uh, good. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, it's locked. This name sounds familiar. Prashi. 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 No. Can't seem to place it. To Mr. H.B. de la Ba. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Um. Okay, I think we went through all the letters. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, wait. Find clue. Ah, uh, should we? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ah. One of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. That's not Dear right. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think! Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Hmm. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Okay. Um, I want to check the journal to see... If, was that... That letter? Did, did that get saved? Letter from my mother that I found in the pier. Nope. So, I don't see, how, how can we, um, how can we read it again? Can we read it again? 